All right, time to fill her up. Let's go. Hi everyone, welcome to another video on the new Met YouTube channel. Today we are playing SnowRunner on PlayStation 5 and I'm just going to offer some tips on how to not run out of gas in SnowRunner. Now, first and foremost, the most obvious thing is a gas station. You will find some maps with a gas station and you obviously just simply fuel up. <laughs> and just make a mental note about where they are on the map. So I would classify gas stations as something that exists on the map without you doing anything. The other thing is the game will strategically place fuel tanks all over the map. For instance, on this map, they are small scout fuel carriers. So you can see this one there, this one here. Now these I haven't put out. These are all came on the map. I didn't have to do anything. So if you're looking for gas, there might be a fuel tank around somewhere. I need some gas. Oh, look, someone strategically put a gas trailer right here. Now I can go surfing in Kazakhstan. Now we'll go over some things that you can do yourself to be sure that you don't run out of gas. Now, the first of them is just a trick. Some maps will have trailer stores above and beyond what's at the garage. And what you can do at a trailer store is that you can buy a gas tank and then fuel up and then sell it. So if you go through here, let's go buy a gas tank. All right, now I'm going to refuel and see you've got the fuel carrier on the top, the truck on the bottom, and now I can just fill up and then I can simply sell this trailer. So this is a, a trick that you can do at trailer stores. You could also do this with the repair trailer if you need to repair your truck. The other thing that you could do, and this is probably my top tip, is strategically leave a gas trailer somewhere on the map. Let's say you're going out somewhere with a truck, put a gas trailer on it and just leave it at places that you know that you're going to need gas. So I could just, plunk this down here in this intersection and this will be available to me or any other trucks that go by. Sometimes you'll find regions where you actually have to go across a map to get to another map to do something. And I will leave a gas a trailer near the tunnel. The other way to look at it is that if you are doing some contracts and tasks on a particular map that's pretty sparse, doesn't have a garage, no trailer stores, you know, you're gonna bring out some other trucks. You're gonna bring out maybe a maintenance trailer. You're gonna bring out a gas trailer. So you wanna bring out some support vehicles for you at, along with the vehicles that you're going to use for your contracts and tasks. Now, the other way to do it, of course, is just put a gas tank on a truck. Drive the truck out there and just leave the truck there with the gas on it. You can also combine it with a maintenance trailer. And since I'm doing a video about gas, I think I should just show you how this works. So this guy's coming up. Oh, gee, I'm about to drive into the valley. I need some gas. You come up here. You do refuel and then you can switch you want the fuel tank and then the truck but you can also get fuel from other trucks as you can see it's the paystar to the mac defense if you are out in the middle of nowhere and you have left your trucks out on the map you can always get fuel from another truck as well I wanted to mention another situation where you're going to need gas, and that's when you have a generator at a factory. I always use a gas truck, so I know that I can turn it on and off the generator and also replenish the gas if need be. Now, I wanted to mention modded trucks in relation to gas as well, because not only do they have maybe better engines or better tires but they also might have optional add-ons so let's look at this guy and see what he's got for his frame add-ons and you'll see that we will have the regular fuel tank here and that's got 476 gallons of fuel in it but he's got an upgraded gas tank and that's got twice as much one of the things about modern trucks to understand is there's such a wide range of how you can use them. You can play the game with stock trucks and maybe just have modded gas trucks to help you out. 
Let's look at a fully modded truck. Not only can you leave trucks around with gas tanks on the back of them, but you can leave your modded trucks lying around. This guy is going to have a lot of gas and a lot of repair parts. So let's look at those. So let's go to refuel and we're going to pick our BART pay star at the bottom there. And then we're going to go into the dually here and look at that. 764 gallons just in the truck itself so let's let's fuel that up boom hardly phases it and just to quickly mention this also applies to repair parts modded trucks are going to have a huge amount of repair supplies for you as well so that's one of the tips that i have is that i will use my modded trucks for usually for scouting but when i when i'm done scouting i'll just leave them out on the map just to get fuel well, and that's it for the tips for gasoline and snow runner. I'm going to leave it here because this is probably the one that I use the most. I'll even go so far as if I'm trailering something to another map, I will, I will winch a gas tank on the back of that just so I can get it over there. But thanks guys for watching and as always hit a like on the video and I will see you in the next one. Dude, wake up. Get back to work.